Let's act like we're on vacation. Go stand next to that old gentleman. Oh. I want to go sure. to him. I'll even give you a title for the shot. A city boy. Moments before he got eaten by a bear. Oh. This old gentleman here? Hi. Hello. Hello there. You picked a good time to visit our town. Deerfest is just two weeks away. Oh, Deerfest. Deer that Fest, sounds fun. Huh? Did you hear that, honey? You have a lovely wife. Oh, uh, thank you. you. Oh. I'm Pat Dave, Fuck you. You're, nice you're a pervert. Yeah. I'm trying to rape well, my wife. I won't pretend I don't recognize a famous writer such as yourself, Mr. Wake. A pleasure. I'm an avid reader myself. I hope this isn't too presumptuous of me, but I'm the night host at the local radio station. Any chance I could get an interview? No. <laughs> Mr. Maine, I'm on vacation. In fact, I'd appreciate it if we could keep my being here just between the two of us. I'm sure you understand. Fair enough. You can trust me to be discreet. Not a hard man to track down if you change your mind, though. I hope you two have a lovely holiday. I hope so, too. Ain't gonna happen, though. Very nice. I got a couple of really good ones. And I see you made a friend. Oh, he's a pervert. That's I don't cute. like him. Right. Oh, I got a phone call now. Yeah. Hey, bestseller. That was my favorite writer. Are you there yet? Barry. Yeah. Barry. We just got him. Are the locals giving you trouble? Yeah. Say the word, and I'll hop on a plane and come make sure that you're left alone, Al. No, Barry, we're fine. Great, great. Just want to make sure you can relax and recharge. So, how is the place? Has it gotten your creative juices flowing? Not at all, not at all. Just settling in. Okay, Al. I'll call back later to make sure you're doing okay. Hey, shut up, you Barry. Call me if there's a problem, okay? Okay. Just looking out for you, buddy. Talk to you later. I love you too, Barry. Who's this guy? Hey, I'm not. You're a very yuppie. Barry. I can always turn off the phone. Yeah. What did I tell you? There's Barry. Text message from Barry. He says hi to you too. We almost in shore yet? We're close. But there's the deer. I don't want to leave yet. Let's see who has the last laugh, city boy. You're fucked okay. up. Good day to you too. That guy's a. Come on, fucking, slow poke. I can't get through that way. I've made all the arrangements. I drive the car. I'll even carry the bags. All you have to do is drag your cute butt in. Hey, don't you say my butt's cute. We need to stop at the local diner to get the cabin key from the landlord. A uh, Mr. Carl Stucky. He's waiting for us. <laughs> I'll go fill her up while you get the key. I'll pick you up here in, say, 15 minutes? Sure. 15 is good. Alan, thank you for coming here with me. I love you too. Go on. I'll promise to behave. <sighs> I've forgotten there were still places like this. Towns where everybody knew <coughs> everybody. Welcome to the Oh Dear Diner. Hi. Oh Dear Diner. I was wondering if you could help me. I'm looking for Mr. Wake, Alan Wake. Oh, it's my no. fan. I am your biggest fan. I know people say that all the time, but I really am. <laughs> Yay! Glad to hear that. I got a Rose. fan. Rose, I'm looking for Mr. Stucky. Carl Stucky. Carl? Of course, Mr. Wake. He must have gone to visit the restroom. He'll be back in a moment. I can't believe it. I've got all of your books. I got the cut up from the bookstore when they took it out of the window. Oh yeah, yeah. Suck my dick, suck my dick, suck my dick. Okay. Good for you. Who's this guy? What's well, jackass? Who else do we got? Let's examine it. Try the coffee. Uh, right. Just don't blame so me when you fall in love. Because it'll break your heart when you have to leave. Rusty here is no longer human. Nothing but black coffee under a thin layer of skin. That's yeah, nasty. That I don't want the skin. Do me a oh! favor, Sonny. Look at these guys. I could really use a tune right now. Coconut number six in the jukebox. Uh, let's play coconut I for him. Myself, but both of my legs have gone to okay, old guy. Bad circulation. Okay, yeah, crazy old. Shut up, fucker. Coconut again? You disgust me. 
call yourself a rocker. Unbelievable. Ah, it does that. Get stuck. Yeah, you need to give it a good solid whack. Big old That's whack. what I'm talking about. Yes. Listen to Kokno with this guy. This is it. I've died and gone to hell. This crazy guy is fuckers dance. In the coconut, in your but lime in the coconut, you lime. Yep. Before I get a copyright strike for that, who's this? Don't go in there, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. I think I can handle it, ma'am. No, oh, you'll hurt yourself in the dark, Alan. Wanting to find Stucky. To get the key and get You're crazy out. woman, You're crazy. The waitress was giving me a headache. Overeager fans always did. <clears throat> Let's knock here. Hello, Mr. Stucky. Mr. Stucky. He's Stucky in the bathroom. Carl couldn't make it. Unfortunately, he was taken in. But I have the key for you and instructions on how don't trust don't trust her don't trust her don't trust her don't trust her no so Alan don't do it I'll come by later to check how you've settled in and to meet your wife I insist oh, look at her nose and her eyes just, don't go there Alan it's bad news bears waiting Can I get out of here now, please? I don't like that woman. She's pretty scary. And this one, too. You got lucky this time, young man. You can hurt yourself in the dark. This Bitch, please. Still listen to Coconut? Man, that sounds better than your singing. Are you alright? He's dead! Oh, no. He's alive. Splendid, splendid! <laughs> Damn hungry. It swells up like a balloon if I lift anything heavier than a spoon. Oh. Yeah. Splendid, splendid. It's been a long time, Tom. Good to see you. Hey, you wouldn't happen to have a bottle of us, would you, Tom? I wish. Who the hell is Tom? I'm Alan. Well, time to leave. Andersons. They're, uh, local musicians. We're waiting for Dr. Hartman to come pick them up. They wandered off from his clinic at the Cauldron Lake Lodge. Oh, there's my wife. I gotta go. I'm getting out of here. Shut the hell up, you crazy ass. Mission accomplished. The key and the direction. Oh. My hero. I got some flashlights. You're getting some tonight, Alan. It's Mr. Stucky. Hey, wait. Mrs. Wake. Your, your keys. Does that? Oh no, that woman didn't give us the right keys. That diner was a real That's not good. <laughs> Can you believe this place? This would make a wonderful setting for a book. We're supposed to be on vacation, Alice. I'll figure it out when we get back home. Okay? Okay. We can talk about this later. I didn't want to talk about it. I wanted to bury my head in sand. Once upon a time, I was a successful writer, but that was a long time ago. I hadn't been able to write a word in years. Holy crap! Book. Better write a new one soon, here, Alan. You don't forget who you are. Come on, Alice. Let's go, Alice. Wow, it's gorgeous. It's so gorgeous, it's Alice. All right. Don't worry, honey. I'll get you inside safe and sound before it gets dark. Screw that. I'm getting the hell out of here. I'm leaving. No, I'm leaving. Alice had a phobia. I'm leaving. Fear darkness. I wanted to make sure we were inside with the lights oh on before sunset. I'm I'm leaving. I don't care. 
I'm not going to the cabin. Fuck you and fuck your cabin too. Is there even anything up here? Probably just wasting my time. Oh no, there's actually a coffee firm. That's pretty cool. The cabin obviously got its name from the shape of the island. It looked like a giant bird leg. Alice had mentioned that the lake was a caldera. There was a dormant volcano under it. Oh, I better get down there.